Okay, so what I got here for you today to look at is some uh, Wi-Fi antenna setups that I've been using up until this point. I just recently got uh, a direct hookup with the internet and, uh, and until this point I've been borrowing uh, Wi-Fi signals from my neighbors with their permission. I've been doing pretty good with it. I got my uh, YouTube channel built up to this point just uh, with borrowing signals but I decided it was time to upgrade and get my own internet because sometimes the signals are unreliable you know, they sh shut them off sometimes or they just won't work for a couple of days and you're left stranded without your internet this is what I've been working with up until this point and they work pretty good it was a gradual step up here's a video that I made a couple of years ago from one of my first setups it's a 5 dB gain antenna which by itself works pretty well but uh, to increase the signal reception what we have behind it is a simple piece of metal just bent into a curve the antenna itself was hinged and it's an indoor antenna so anywhere that there's a crack or crevice or you know something that could get water in it and rust I simply used a hot glue gun and sealed everything up and uh, a couple of nails and to hold more glue to keep it from wobbling uh, some just some simple tape to keep it from wobbling back and forth a couple of screws to hold it in one location and a big block of wood and my signal strength has increased from roughly 60 percent to just over 80 percent which gives me a very good Wi-Fi connection. Here's what I've been using right up until recently here. Uh, this little gizmo, uh, I welded this together and uh, it was for another antenna but it came in useful for this. Here's the antenna that originally went in there. And I'll show you that in a little bit. This particular Wi-Fi card, this uh, it had a problem with overheating and the chip would burn out and then I would have to get another one and I had a backup Wi-Fi unit that I was using when this was broken but it was a good one so I kept getting it and they finally realized the problem they put this little heat sink on there and it stopped doing that ever since this is the last card that I bought and the reason it's I keep it out of the case is so that it can breathe and that chip can stay cool and the antenna that's on it here that came from China it was like five dollars they said it would increase uh, Wi-Fi signal but uh, at the time that I got it I didn't see any evidence of it but when I started playing around with different configurations it worked good in this for a uh, more local Wi-Fi signal which was like within my block I was getting I was getting a good signal like up to two blocks away, or oh, block and a half. Uh, that was with this system. After I got done using the other antenna, the big white antenna here, um, it was working good, and I add a little, made a little tweaks to it. Uh, this, this works very good for a small antenna like this. This is this is this is the antenna that came with my Wi-Fi units, and uh, you get this. It says uh, freeantennas.com. The name has oh Windsurfer. That was the name of it. The Windsurfer. Uh, you can make this off the internet. All you need is I bought some poster board from Myers, and then all you got to do is cut it out. Put uh, slot A into tab A and then glue a piece of aluminum foil on the back. A lot of people they put aluminum foil here too. Don't do that. It works better with just one piece of aluminum foil. See this piece of aluminum foil here that was that was because the back was flat. And 
and uh, it wasn't round because it was made for the other antenna so I had to get that rounded as best as I could so that I could get this antenna as much signal as possible everything in there is being held in by magnets to keep everything in place here's the reflector as it is all by itself it works pretty darn good it's uh, basically three pieces of flat steel welded together one two three and then it had a uh, for it to sort the stand on we have a couple of legs here and a third piece back here and uh, here's the antenna that did originally go in there as you can see there there's the antenna as it looked when I first had it set up and it worked very good it worked indoors sitting in the middle of the house just resting on the table on with my wife's laptop I didn't have to get it next to a window or anything what I would call a social antenna you just you just put it anywhere and it did a very good job I don't know what happened but this antenna unit started going bad and uh, I wanted to take it apart but I didn't want to take it apart until I until I showed everybody uh, what this was like because I could maybe I couldn't get it back together again but as you see the antenna just as you can see the antenna is a perfect fit for that now the thing about this the thing about these sidewalls is you have to get them less than a 45 degree angle and that way the signal bounces and goes in if you get it too far apart the signal will just bounce and then hit that and then come back out again so you got to get it just under 45 anything under 45 will work good now I came up for the idea with this and I tested you can do this at home you can test this at home if you want to try that you can I started with a piece of cardboard and I generally bent it into this shape and uh, it had a couple of flaps that folded out this way on the bottom that gave it support and then a piece of tape going across here that kept it that kept it held together you know that held it together where you needed it and then the, the flaps on the bottom the uh, flaps on the bottom came out like that and it stood up all by itself really good so this is the unit that I've been using up until this point and it's been a very good uh, amplifier for almost any antenna you have here's another antenna that I've been using too it's been a pretty good antenna however the uh, signal that I was getting it from kept getting weaker and weaker that's why I had to get this uh, as my as that signal kept getting weaker my antennas kept getting bigger and bigger and better uh, this was a typical store-bought uh, I got it on eBay but the way it's mounted is uh, quite simple to do when I got this I was wondering how I was gonna mount that on the wall and then I uh, came up with an idea you see what it's mounted on uh, that's just a piece of wood right there that you know you just cut it down and then that tube is actually a p-trap for your bathroom sink you just run down to the hardware store and you get the you get a p-trap and then all I did was cut the end off of it and then I drilled two holes in the side there and ran two screws and the two screws run all the way through the wood and into the house you gotta drill the holes into the tube and you gotta drill the holes into the wood otherwise you could split the wood but that's been up there but that's been up there for a good couple of years without any sign of movement a modification that I made 
a modification that I made. You see the back here, uh, this piece that fans out like a V, this clear plastic. There's uh, two pieces of steel wire, and those are on there, and those act as little reflectors like you would see on a bigger TV antenna, and that boosted up the signal just a little bit, and it just rests right on there. I could just take that off right now. I, I can't reach it right now. i got to get a ladder. But uh, that's how I got that antenna up there, and it's worked really good. It still pulls in a signal every once in a while, even though it's pointed in the wrong direction for other people's houses. But that unit, that antenna has uh, worked out pretty good for a good couple of years.